Hello, hello, hello. I am Alucard Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next review. Today I'm looking at the Transformers Studio Series 86 movie Hot Rod. And there he is in front of us, but we'll take a look at the packaging first. <clears throat> Pardon me. So there we got a really good picture of Hot Rod holding the Matrix. 86, number 4. And forgive the dust on it. <laughs> Studio Series, Hot Rod, The Transformers, The Movie, Hasbro, 8 Plus. And again, some dust on it. <laughs> Transformers on the side, Generations, Takartomi. On this side, very excellent picture of Hot Rod again. 86, number 4. Studio Series on this side. There's that picture of Hot Rod again. Transformers Authentic 86 right here. Nice big numbers. On the top we can see a bit of a window. Transformers the movie. On the bottom barcode plus a whole bunch of other wording. And on the back our product shots. And we can see very excellent pictures plus our warning and a little hot rod lights the darkest hour in different languages <laughs> that's it for the packaging there is an insert whoops that i will get to when we are in his robot mode so here we have him in his futuristic um racer mode sports car mode whichever you want to call it rolls very nicely in that sort of burgundy slash reddish color translucent I've watched a lot of them go so forgive me for that translucent blue for the windshield you can kind of see his head in there <laughs> and on the window here we can see silver for his exhaust nice yellow for that big old wing that he has here is the back there is the bottom can see it's a full chest which I actually don't mind at all because um, whenever they've uh, done it where it the chest is originally the front of the car and it's not a full chest it doesn't always come out right with the proportions so and he does have some accessories a couple of these we will save for his robot mode but two of them are these pistols and it's the same ex or no it's not the same exact one i thought it was but there we have his two guns again very cool these ones do not combine like um the i think um the power of the primes one did that and i think there was another one that did that i can't remember if it was the original g1 or not but you can see that and for these there are also little blast effects and these are definitely the same and these plug on just like that you could have them that way you could have them that way it all depends on which way you prefer uh, you can put these on vehicle mode and just plug them in there plug this one in here and there's one place to plug them you can also plug them up here i believe nope you can't okay ju so just right there <laughs> of course i don't think that looks good not my cup of tea Plus, I'm also worried about um, scratching the silver on the silver paint on the guns because, I mean, you can see they're, they're molded in that reddish plastic and then painted silver. And, uh, you know, I don't want to scratch that up by plugging them into the hood. So, again, very cool. Like that very much. All right, and 
that is oh you can see we got orange for his headlights Autobot symbol silver for the uh, top of the engine sticking out or possibly a blower whatever you wish to go for but that is it for his vehicle mode and the silver on the wheels so we will get him transformed so first thing we want to do here let's see where shall we start I think we will start by untabbing the back here lifting this up we'll go ahead and rotate it and then we'll leave it like that for the moment raise up a little bit then untab those from there we want to actually another thing we want to do before I forget open this up and we will untab these and rotate these pieces in close that back up for the moment untab the arms just so we can have things out of the way here while we work on the legs so open this up bring it out we want to rotate it just enough then we'll rotate this piece into here close it up come on close it up <laughs> oh whoops <laughs> rotate the foot down i'm an idiot all right there there's that one so there we have that again same thing here rotate out <laughs> rotate the foot out before i forget rotate this piece in rotate it in and there's that and then we will rotate at the waist now want to untab this again so we want to rotate this all the way out come in here open this up bring out the head bring this in all the way and make sure I'm not missing anything yeah that should go in like that and or am I missing something okay nope I am I, I'm missing something here okay rotate it <laughs> forgot about that now we can close it up I want to make sure that the arms come down all the way there we go close it up close that up there's that arm and then this is going to come in and tab in right there then what we want to do is open this up rotate and then rotate this in just like that there's that arm done same thing here there we go and there we go and there we have hot rod despite despite a couple of my mistakes <laughs> sorry about that in his robot mode and he looks good he looks really good i do like this uh hot rod for a main line this is the closest we've gotten to uh, an animation accurate hot rod just want to make sure all right so let's take a look at that head very hot rod-esque head we've got the 
uh, red or light burgundy on the helmet, darker burgundy on the horns and the top, which I hope you can see, some silver, uh, gray face, blue on the eyes, you can see his chest, nice big Autobot symbol there, uh, orange, yellow flame, you know, I mean, it's what we know of Hot Rod, some, uh, you can see the the full headlights on the full chest, which, like I said, I don't mind. I don't mind it at all. Uh, silver here on top of the uh, shoulder. Uh, you can see more of that burgundy, light burgundy. Some orange there. Uh, gray on the hands. Orange on the thighs. And then this, um, I'm not sure what you would call this color. It's not really a gray. It's uh, Well, it's kind of a gray with a pinkish hue maybe a purplish hue and I'm not sure what color that is and then you can see here on the back and everything does fold up rather nicely so that's actually very nice but yeah Our articulation head is on a ball joint we get some nice wiggle can look up that far can look down that far shoulders come out that far can do a full 360, but the wing does get in the way. Um, we've got rotation just above the elbow. We've got over 90 on the elbow, so that's very nice. We do have waist rotation. Can kick forward that far. Can kick back only that far. Full Van Dam. We do have thigh rotation, and we've got full on the knee, thanks to it actually being able to uh, rotate here and here, so we can get some decent poses at that knee, which is very nice. And the foot can move forward a bit, move back a bit, and we got about that much ankle pivot. Again, very cool. Now, for his accessories, one accessory is built in, and what we can do is we lift up this part on his helmet or his head, rotate this down, and he's got the little lenses that come down in the movie. Very cool. I like that they added that. So definitely digging that. And, of course, we can give him his guns. Oh, I forgot to mention, too, uh, his hands do open up, so that's very cool to see. But yeah, we can give him his guns, and we can plug in... Whoops. Those blast effects, if we like. So... Can bring down the Decepticons trying to take Autobot City. He can take on some Quintessons. Can do whatever he needs to do to save the day. <laughs> well, another accessory he has is he does have his pizza cutter. I mean, his um, disc that he used to uh, take on the... Um, thing that um, um, was taken out cup and for this what we do we actually oh, come on open up okay there we go and we also have this built in. So he's got uh, his, what he used to fix cup. Again, very cool. Completely forgot about that. And then on this side, come on. There we go. So we want to rotate this in, bring this back out. 
plug this on. And there we go. Again, not too bad. I like uh, having these extra pieces. Um, the only thing he seems to really be missing is that uh, fishing rod. You know, because I mean, who doesn't want to see um, hot rod fishing? <laughs> I'll rotate these back. And the final bit that he comes with to light our darkest hour is Matrix. And it's the same matrix that comes with, whoops, that comes with um, Earthrise Optimus and I believe even the same one that comes with Kingdom Galvatron. So, very cool. And also, we get this. And you can see right there, and that's going to plug in on the matrix just like this. You could have it like this, or, whoops, could have it, let's see, yeah, I don't think it really is going to matter, so, many different ways, and if we get him positioned right, open up the hands, there's that one, open up the hand, there's that one. There he goes, lighting our darkest hour. Again, very cool. Trying to get him to stay standing here straight. <laughs> the way these knees are, it's they're they're very weird. Very different. Yeah, and could also raise it up even higher. There we go. Hot rod. Lighting our darkest hour. <clears throat> now for the insert. What we get is we sort of get these the innards of Unicron. Again, very cool. And of course we can put hot rod on there. And there we go. There we have him. Becoming, getting ready to become Rodimus Prime, <laughs> which I am waiting on. So I am hoping to have that soon. Um, no idea when, but I do have that pre-ordered, so hopefully I get mine. But that is it for Studio Series 86 Hot Rod, and I do like this guy. I'm loving the Studio Series 86 movie figures. Um, I never went in on the Studio Series figures because I'm not, the, the live action movies, I'm not a big fan of. So those figures did not have any appeal to me. But the 86 movie figures definitely have appeal to me. These are really, really good. There are some downsides to a few of them, yes, but they're the best we've gotten of those figures in the main line, for sure, hands down, like, this, honestly, did so many things better than even the Masterpiece did. Like, you know, especially with the chest. The the Masterpiece did not do that right. The only one that got close to doing that right is the Fans Toys Hoodlum. And that one still, had, still doesn't look somewhat right because the shoulders are too high. So, there are some drawbacks. This one definitely love it definitely works great um has that movie hot rod look 
cannot cannot wait for more figures i'm keeping an eye out for studio series slug or slag i i know he's titled as slug but to me he's slag i grew up with g1 so it's still slag um looking forward to uh gnaw and Rekgar. Ooh, there was another one can't remember which other one there was but i'm loving that we're getting more studio series 86 movie figures Definitely recommend them. Can't recommend them enough. Um, if you're looking for them, hopefully you find them. This guy, unfortunately, is um, uh, a shelf warmer. Um, not as many people are wanting Hot Rod, I guess. But honestly, I don't know why. It's not that bad of a figure. It is a really good figure. There's, It's got a decent transformation. Yes, his vehicle mode from the back looks a little off because those knees, the way they are, kind of stick out. But trying to do this guy to have a near perfect robot mode, and a near, and I mean, even the auto, the vehicle mode is still nearly perfect, honestly, in my opinion. But some people are not a big uh, fan of um, him, and I understand. You know, to each his own. We all have things we like. We all have things we don't like. But. He is out there uh, along with some of the other studio series. And then I know uh, Slag or Slug is hitting um, target shelves. Um, so definitely keep an eye out for that. I know I have been. I've been checking my target like a couple of times a week. <laughs> Hoping that they'll get something in. But it looks like both of my uh, local stores, Walmart and Target, is going to be doing a slight reset and i think that's because those um uh classic beast wars figures are going to be hitting the shelves soon so we'll see what happens but he's out there hope you're uh you know you find him if you are looking for him if not cool that's you know to each his own i personally love him but i think that is it. I'll end things there. So that has been Studio Series 86 Movie Hot Rod. Again, I am Alucard Night Raven. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all later.